Okay, next question, and this is another good one. Acetaminophen, Tylenol, or paracetamol is what it's also called as well, is category B. First of all, we don't use categories A, B, C, D, right. and anymore. X anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, that's completely not, should not be used. Well, let me take it back. Uh, medications are being phased out of that over time, but I forget what year it's supposed to be completely phased out, but really in obstetrics, we don't use the A, B, C, D, and X anymore. Um, a Johns Hopkins study analyzing umbilical cord blood samples found that newborns with the highest exposure to acetaminophen, Tylenol, paracetamol, were about three times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD or autism spectrum disorder in childhood. Is it safe to take or should it be avoided? So this is what I have to say. If you just think for a minute, how many things have you heard have been associated with ADHD, autism spectrum, spectrum disorder that people have done been exposed to taken in pregnancy? The list is endless. There's yes. a reason for that because it is very hard to, to find a definitive cause of anything with ADHD or any neuro neurodevelopmental disorder or autism spectrum disorder to say this causes ADHD, neurodevelopmental disorders, autism spectrum disorder. So, and then when you're taking, especially when you're in these pre uh, studies in someone that's pregnant, that's especially hard. So kind of like the MTHFR gene variant, it's been linked to 600 different conditions that biologically does not make sense. So anything you hear about taking in pregnancy being associated with autism spectrum disorder or neurodevelopmental disorders, you kind of have to take a grain with a grain of salt because those studies are not the most ideally designed studies to make that kind of determination. What they'll say there's, there might be a link, but there's been no causation, there's been no association. <clears throat> so this study that Johns Hopkins one came out in 2019. In 2021, ACOG came out with a consistent statement because of there was an, also a um, something in Nature Reviews, endocrinology, that mm -hmm. again, these mm -hmm. uh, they did a consensus mm -hmm. about caution with Tylenol. It is one of the most studied and safest forms of pain control we could take in pregnancy. As with anything, it should be taken when indicated. Uh, it should not be taken at will and for prolonged periods of time, but that's the same for anything. Uh, right. And Tylenol, the main thing that you have to worry about is liver toxicity. And I've had a few patients inadvertently semi overdose on it, not intentionally, because they were taking oh, it wow. so much they didn't realize. So mm -hmm. that can happen in pregnancy. So that's really the main concern. But there's nothing definitive saying that. And again, SMFM also supports that. Do I prescribe and recommend Tylenol to my pregnant patients? I absolutely do. I tell them Me when too. they can take it. Uh, it's indicated if you're having pain or discomfort to the to the point that you are taking Tylenol for days at a time, you might need to be evaluated for something else to exactly. see what exactly is going on. Okay, so uh, it is safe to take in pregnancy, but just like with anything else, make sure that you're taking it for the right indications. And if you're finding that you need to take it or you're taking it a lot, then you need to be evaluated to see exactly what's going on. Anything to add to that? No, that's exactly what I say too. Sounds perfect. Yeah, I, I, uh, I feel like pregnant patients are made to feel that anything they can do can cause a neuro neurodevelopmental disorder when that's one of the I hardest know. things to study. And I, it's kind of not fair. I understand the interest in trying to figure out why these things happen, but they're so what we call multifactorial. There's so Correct. many things at play. We may not ever figure out what the top five reasons are that children might eventually develop neurodevelopmental disorders. So that's kind of where we are with the, that data. This is another good one.